So anyway, uh, I want to call up uh, Mikey. Where's Mikey Stevens? Is Mikey Stevens around here? Somewhere up. He's out. He's everywhere. That guy. He's like that Mexican guy on uh, Mr. Deeds. <laughs> Pops up everywhere. You go. <laughs> so anyway, put a round of applause for this guy here, Mikey. My name is Michael Stevens. I'm from Millbrook. And uh, thank you. Thank you for inviting me to come here and, and speak tonight. I speak with my hands, so I'm going to put this down. Old school like that. Sorry. <laughs> okay. Uh, geez. What to say? When I uh, when I woke up this morning, I uh, I went and I lit my pipe. I went out in the woods and it was the first time I lit my pipe in uh, geez over two years. And I prayed that um, what I would say here tonight would be heard in a good way. My elders have always taught me to speak from my heart. So this, this is where this is all coming from. You guys hear me now? Okay. Uh, I don't know more. What does it mean? It means a lot of things. It means that we, as a nation of people, as a nation of Ilno, are stepping out of the shadows to fight together for our basic human right to live in a good way here on Turtle Island. We're fighting for so much more than we realize right now. We're fighting, we're not fighting against Harper. We're not fighting against Indian Act leadership. We're fighting for our children and for those next seven generations, and for the seven generations after that. I'm sitting here, I'm shaking. I'm, I have so much to say, and I, and I just, you know, when people have been talking, I'm just gonna start telling stories. Uh, I was out in Ottawa. <laughs> when I went out to Ottawa, I, uh, I seen a lot of things uh, this this past Friday there, when uh, they had this big huge meeting and this big huge protest. That I saw a lot of uh, a lot of confusion. I saw a lot of anger. I saw a lot of tears. I seen my elders crying. I seen little girls and little boys dressed in their regalia dancing in the street, in the cold, freezing their ass off. It, it, uh, it almost broke my heart. When I, when I see these elders crying, and since this whole I Don't Know More has began, we all, at some point in our past, have heard that something like this is coming. We've all heard stories about seventh generation, about the lighting of this eighth fire. And then it's gonna begin with us, the people. There's there's so much so much anger that is dictating how we're that is preventing us from coming together as a people. We need each and every one of us need to get rid of this anger. We need to stop 
bitching about the things that you could probably be doing something about. And if I curse, I'm sorry, I apologize now. These are white words and they mean nothing to me. I'm just using them to prove points. But people only people <laughs> bitch and complain about the things that they could probably be doing something about. I don't hear people going around saying, God damn all this gravity. You know what I mean? They, because there's nothing they could do about it. But right now we have an opportunity, an unprecedented opportunity to do something for our people and for our children. People keep, you know, there's so much confusion. People are, people seem like they're so confused and they're, and they're saying, oh, we need more information. We need more information on, on Bill C-45. And you know what? You're not a lawyer. You're not a politician. You're not, you know, you're not a doctor. You're not a, some, some scholar in some university. What you do know about Bill C-45 is that it's going to take our lands and it's going to give the right to businesses to do whatever they want. They're going to destroy our rivers and our lakes. And then you have these complications with leadership and with these different organizations that, that our bands are, 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 are connected to right now. You got KMK told me herself, oh, this isn't going to hurt your, this isn't going to hurt your rights. You're still going to be able to hunt. You're still going to be able to fish. But what's the sense of hunting in a clear-cut forest or fishing in a poison river? Where are you going to get your medicines then? Where are you going to get your medicines then? You know what I mean? There's so much more that we could be doing. I've been listening to our elders as much as I can. And I see the division going on amongst this movement, this I don't know more movement with, you know, with Chief Spence's camp. And then you got the, the four founders of it out in Saskatchewan. But we have to step back and realize that these people are dying. These people are dying in that camp. They are starving themselves for you. And while we're sitting here, jumping through hoops, scared we're gonna get our hands slapped by the band office because we're connected to them with our employment or whatever it may be. These people are dying. We cannot forget that. There's, I heard this elder speak. She said, use your body. If that's all you got, use your body. Take a stance together for what's right. For what you all know in your hearts is right. Because what's going on right now is wrong. It is wrong. When I started asking my friends about Bill C-45, they didn't want nothing to do with it. They were scared. They were scared they were going to get their cabin's license taken from them or, or plucked from school or prevented from progressing in life. You know, we all deserve to live a good life. And so do our children. This system that we're protesting against is confusing us because the very thing that we're protesting against is the same thing that we're adhering to at the same time. Do you understand that? We're, we're following these rules by the system that has failed us. Whether it's a judicial system, the police enforce, you know, Indian Act, this system has failed us. Yeah. <laughs> We need to wake up. These treaties that we're fighting for, they have given us every single thing that we enjoy today as Ilmu people. Our ancestors have fought and died for those treaties. How dare they 
try to mess with them treaties. We need to protect those treaties, my friends. We have to. Because if we shut up, if we go back to idling, they will roll right over top of every one of us. They will roll right over top of every one of us. And I'm telling you, it's not your job to go through Bill C-45 and learn and, you know, and try to analyze 90 pieces of legislation. What more do you need to know? Is, you know what I mean? What more do you need to know? That that's what's gonna happen to our lands. That's what's gonna happen to our rights. That's what's gonna happen to our treaties. They're gonna nullify and void these covenant chain of treaties that we have fought, that our ancestors have fought and died for. Is that not worth stepping up and saying, I'm classy. Debia, stop. That's enough. You leave those treaties alone. Is that not worth fighting for? Is that not worth dying for? You say you will die for your children. Now's the time to step it up. Now's the time to stop talking from behind a computer screen. Now's the time to grab your drums, to sing your songs. Now's the time to do something about it. Enough talking. I'm tired of people talking and bitching and complaining about a system that has failed us, and we all know it's failed us. We all know that. You know it in your hearts. We have to do something about it together. It's the only way we're going to win this fight. It is the only way. If you get caught up in the bullshit, in the, in the politics, in the, in the arguments, in the fights, that's what they want. That is what they want. They want you to feud with each other. They want to break us up one at a time by groups. Here in Mi'kmaq, we got the strongest treaties in this country. We need to be leading the way in this fight. We need to stand up for our brothers and sisters who are out there fighting for us, fighting for us all. Every one of us need to come together in this fight because if we don't, if we don't, you're just going to see genocide in a whole new way. You're just going to see our people getting murdered off, sectioned off. You know, I live in a shitty little rinky dink rezzed out apartment. I love it. I love it. I love the people in my community. I love the, that circle, that network, that Tayushpae. I love the ceremony. The language, our elders, we cannot let them take that from us. Hey.